Hello, I'm Sarah Lexi and I write the Greek Village series. I'm just about to release another book. It's called A Self-Effacing Man. And I thought it might be quite fun to read you some of the first chapter. So here goes. A Self-Effacing Man, chapter one. It is her, and yet it's not her. Her hands clutch her single white lily. Her hair is woven with petals and her white brows can hardly be seen for the blossoms. And in such a setting, she should look beautiful. Cosmo fixes his gaze on her mouth. He has never seen it closed for so long, her tongue so still. Such a terrible silence, her lips sewn together. His chest lifts as he draws in enough air to ease the sting behind his eyes. Selecteria. Mitzos leans over Cosmo's shoulder and whispers his condolences. It does not feel real to Cosmo, more like a performance in a television drama, and he has the sensation of of being outside of himself, hovering above the scene, looking down on another Cosmo. The scene swims in unspilt tears, and he has to make an effort to focus again, to bring back the harsh edges of reality. Hello, my name's Sarah Lexi. I write the Greek Village series. I'm an indie author, and I have been from the very first book. I hadn't realised that it was possible to avoid agents and publishers and all those things that really make life very tricky to get a book published. But when I found Amazon, I could put a book straight up on there. And I did. And I waited, thinking, well, OK, my book's live now. What's going to happen? And I didn't sell a single book on the first day. Second day, sold 300. Third day, another 300. And from then on, my life has taken a different direction. But what I like most about the fact that I'm an indie author is the fact that I have the control. I can write what I like. I can write where I like, I can publish it when I like, I can edit it how I like, I can put the covers on that I like, and it's possible to get in touch with all my readers, which is amazing. I talk to them on Goodreads, I can answer their comments below in Amazon, and also I have a Facebook page. So indie authoring, for me, has completely changed my life. So if you think you're a budding writer, give it a go. Why not? Everybody has something to say.